Mine clearance at the Joint Security Area in Panmunjom is reportedly complete. However, Seoul and Pyongyang are not done demilitarizing the JSA yet. Park Ji-won fills us in on what's scheduled next for the two Koreas. A military official told Arirang News that the removal of all mines in the Joint Security Area in Panmunjom has been completed as of Friday afternoon. Defense ministers from South and North Korea had agreed at last month's inter-Korean summit in Pyongyang through the comprehensive military agreement that the two Koreas and the United Nations Command would remove all mines in the jointly patrolled area of the DMZ within 20 days starting October 1st. About five mines were detected on the North Korean side of the JSA during the mine sweeping, while none were found on the South Korean side. With the demining now complete, guard posts, personnel and firearms at the JSA are supposed to be removed by next Thursday as part of the comprehensive inter-Korean military agreement. South and North Korea and the UN Command will also plan to reduce or remove unnecessary surveillance equipment in the JSA and share related information among themselves according to the military agreement. When demilitarization measures at the JSA are complete, guard duty will be carried out by up to 35 unarmed personnel from each side, and visits by civilians and tourists from both Koreas will be allowed from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The U.S.-led United Nations Command also announced Friday morning that it has verified the mine clearance done so far at the JSA includes coordination with South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff and said the demining process lays a foundation for the next steps in implementing the comprehensive military agreement. The U.N. Command stressed it will continue to closely work with both Koreas to implement the agreement. Meanwhile, the three sides are expected to have a second trilateral meeting to further discuss the disarmament of the JSA and joint management of the border area. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.